Hey guys, Andrew here, and I'm super excited to tell you about the newest update for Wirecast, version 7.4. We are just launching that, and we have a very cool update to our Facebook integration capabilities. We keep trying to bring you the latest and greatest integration possibilities with the Live API, and I'm proud to announce that we have brought Facebook Live scheduling into Wirecast. You can now schedule live events up to a week in advance on your Facebook page, which makes it really easy to share those events and promote them and then have people subscribe to be notified the minute they're live. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's really easy to use. We've also redesigned the way the Facebook destination settings look inside the app to make it easier to use and easier to understand. So I'll cover all that real quick so you know exactly how it works and exactly how you can start pre-scheduling your live streams, which just makes it so much easier. So let's check it out. I'm going to go, I have here just a basic Wirecast uh, document that I'm going to be streaming to my Facebook page or profile. Uh, as you know, you can stream to your Facebook pages, groups, profiles very easily. Go to your output settings just like you normally do. Nothing's changed there. Select Facebook from the destination or Facebook Live from the destination drop down menu and click OK. That's going to launch the sort of newly designed and configured output settings for Facebook Live. Uh, you're going to want to authenticate first, log into your Facebook profile. So I'm going to do that real quick and log in. You can choose to stay logged into that account if you want. Um, it's going to say not configured at the top. That's not a big deal. It's just your personal reference name here. I'm just going to call this Facebook so I know. Uh, and that just keeps it track. If you had multiple destinations that you had on the left, it helps you sort of, sort of keep track of them. Um, you're going to want to choose the output settings and size. In this case, I'll probably choose my Apple H.264 encoding setting, which just means that I'm going to use the built-in QuickSync chip on the computer, which keeps my system resources down. So that's a great tip. If you have that option available, use hardware encoding when and where you can. Saves on system resources. Next, you're going to find uh, this schedule button, and you can choose whether you want to go live now, which is great. If you just want to go live at this moment instantaneously, that's the way you do that. Or you'll find the schedule for later button. The other thing you'll find is any other streaming live events that you have currently scheduled on this list. So I've actually already scheduled a couple. Um, these are just sort of fake ones, but in this case, this will keep a running total, a running list of the current ones you have scheduled. Um, in this case, I'm going to create a new one, so I'll click the Schedule for Later button, and now just select your, where you're going to uh, stream to. In my case, I'm just going to stream it to my profile, and then at that point, you're going to select the time and the date. And as I said, you can schedule up to a week in advance. Um, Facebook does not want you to go too far out because they don't want it to get too cluttered um, You know, if you're scheduling months and months in advance. Uh, but a week, up to a week is totally possible. So we could schedule a broadcast for tomorrow, and we could schedule it at, say, 10, 11 a.m., 10 a.m. And then we're going to enter a description. At this point, it's basically the same way you've been doing it prior to this. So my next live stream. Enter a description. I often recommend that people at least retype the title for their first sentence because in, in many ways, the description is more important because it's what shows up when you see the post on your uh, Facebook page or when other people, they're actually going to see the description usually first, not necessarily the title. So my next live stream, join me. It's going to be fun. Uh, you then set your privacy. Again, this is the way it's always been. Uh, public, friends, only me. I'm going to set it to public. You can also set a destination, I'm sorry, a location from which you're streaming. In my case, lovely Nevada City, California. And then uh, you have these two buttons here at the bottom, which uh, again, we've redesigned to try to make it easier. If you want to check this out, you're welcome to do this. The advanced options, it's really going to give you an option to stream with branded content. This is really only available if you have a blue check mark on your Facebook page. But if you do, it allows you to stream sponsored or branded content to your, to your page. And then you also have the option for regular and ambient streaming. It's grayed out here because uh, ambient streaming or just continuous live streaming, it never stops, it never stops, um, it doesn't record on Facebook, 
It's unlimited. Normally you're limited to like four hours or so on Facebook. Um, but at this point, and it used to be 90 minutes, I think it's gone up to four hours. Um, but if you want unlimited stream, you choose ambient. But that's not available with a schedule uh, version. So that's grayed out for now. If you have any questions about either of that, we have provided links for you, as well as some very helpful um, uh, messaging here so you can know exactly what am what's the difference between ambient and regular live streaming to Facebook. OK, all that done, it's time to schedule it. And then uh, Wirecast will send all this information to Facebook and return the RTMP. You're also going to see this message. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, you don't have to see it every time, so you can choose not to see it again. But basically, it's telling you that you need to, that first of all, it's been scheduled for the time that you've set, and in my case, tomorrow at 10 a.m. You need to verify that your video feed at least 20 minutes before the scheduled start time. So uh, to verify it, you need to preview the feed on Facebook uh, by opening the scheduled video on, from your videos pa page or your videos tab on Facebook. Uh, and then people are going to be notified automatically when you go live. And the live video, uh, you must go live within 10 minutes of the scheduled time of your video. If you don't go live when, within 10 minutes of when it's supposed to start, then it's going to be canceled. So keep that in mind, that Facebook wants to be very sure that scheduled live events actually happen, and people have warning they will cancel it if it doesn't happen. OK, so this feature is best used in conjunction with Facebook, and I'll show you that in just a second. Now that it's scheduled, we're good. I'm ready to go live tomorrow at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. And let's jump over to Facebook and check out that post. So if I refresh my page here, and there it is. It's right there. You can see I've got my next stream. It says, my next live stream. Join me. It's going to be fun. Everything's right there. And what's great about this is that you can share this link with other people. Your friends can share it. You can drive a larger audience to come view your stream uh, and get more traffic and basically let people know ahead of time, which is uh, the best way for them to prepare to watch your live streams. And Facebook makes it really easy to subscribe, share, and uh, pass this link around. And prior to this, this just wasn't possible within Wirecast. And that is how you schedule live events on Facebook Live using Wirecast 7.4. Uh, so if you have any questions about this feature, please reach out to us at telestream.net. We'd be happy to answer your questions. I will also be posting more videos on how to use this feature using the Facebook Live scheduling and other things. Uh, so look for those coming up. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy using this feature. Definitely get started posting those live events, scheduling them ahead of time, letting your friends know, and driving more traffic to your live streams. And uh, definitely get out there and start streaming. We love to see what you come up with.